Well, the investigation continues after yesterday's deadly shooting near the RNC security zone. Milwaukee police say 13 Columbus, Ohio officers were staged near 14th and Valite when they saw a man with a knife in each hand fighting with another unarmed person. Body camera footage shows officers ordering that man to drop the knives. When he didn't, five officers opened fire. CBS 58's Jenna Wells live at the scene with reaction from city leaders and community members tonight. Jenna. That's right, Jessup, you can hear music behind me. Some people are gathering here where there's a memorial on the right side of the road at 14th and Vliet. That's where a man was shot and killed by a Columbus, Ohio police officer. Family members identified him as Samuel Sharp. And we learned today the Columbus officers involved will not continue to work in Milwaukee this week. This is a tragic situation. I don't want people to lose their lives. Mayor Cavalier Johnson spoke about a Milwaukee man shot and killed by Columbus, Ohio officers after they saw him holding two knives going toward another person. Johnson called it a tragedy for both the man's family and the officers involved. Uh, the information we have leaves a clear impression that these Columbus officers, they saved the life of an unarmed man from death or perhaps serious injury. Bullet holes marked by law enforcement can still be seen in a concrete wall off Leet Street. Family members told CBS 58 the man named Samuel Sharp lived at a tent encampment nearby. We went as soon as we heard what happened just to show our support and love. Milwaukee Street Angels does outreach at the encampment three times a week. The co-director has known Sharp since March. Just seen him the day before and he just kept telling us how much he loves us and, and thanking us and um, we made sure he had water for his dog and food for his dog. She says her team and others that live at the encampment are grieving. This was one of our biggest fears with the RNC coming here, um, and it came true. The shooting happened in County Board Chairwoman Marcelia Nicholson's district. She released a statement saying in part, this incident underscores the urgent need for comprehensive police reform and the importance of addressing systemic issues that disproportionately impact marginalized communities, including the homeless. All we really care about is he was our friend um, and he did not deserve to die like that. Now, according to the Milwaukee Police Department, the Columbus officers that were involved were assigned to be patrolling the area on bicycles. MPD says from now on, they will ensure that an MPD officer is present with any out of state patrols in front facing and specialty roles. For now, reporting live in Milwaukee, Jenna Wells, CBS 58 News.